of assets, you have to be able to prove to a regulatory entity that clawback is possible. So now for the exciting part. So we're going to hear some words from Tim Wolcott, who is a world-renowned photographer, and he will explain some amazing things about Lobster Wallet and what's going on behind the scenes with the QFS system. Some of the things that he states is, is amazing, and it just confirms, uh, connecting all the dots, that we are in for a major event, and people need to wake up. Those who are sleeping are going to get left behind. Now, I'm sure if you've been subscribed to the channel, you know that we've been talking about cyber attacks. We've been talking about how the SEC is corrupt, how they've been pinning down XRP, that there's a cabal in the world, basically a criminal ring that, around the world that is tied in with governments, the monetary system, heads of state, everywhere, all over the place, all over the world. It's not just, you know, one specific country. I've actually I've actually showed documents from the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, stating it. Some people say, oh, it's crazy conspiracy stuff. Really? Well, I, I guess you don't you don't believe in the International Monetary Fund. You really? well, I, I guess you don't you don't believe in the International Monetary Fund. You 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 think that everything on the media is true? People are going to wake up. If they are not awake, it's going to be a rude awakening. If you're slowly awakening, let's dive in and so you can hear some more words. So he's very knowledgeable, and he states that he has some knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes with the QFS system, and that the lobster wallet is, so to say, going to be sort of like the new stock exchange, and a lot of these um, these stocks, these assets are going to flow in and be digitized and onto the lobster wallet. He's basically saying that when a big event happens, such as a cyber attack, this is why I tell people to get your crypto off the exchanges. Another reason to is that a lot of this is going to happen during that time. So some people might not want to believe it, but you know, people didn't want to believe a lot of things that did come true, such as the gold backing of currencies and Russia invading Ukraine. And there's all kinds of information that's being held from the public. And a lot of this is going to come to the light very soon. And it's a very exciting time to be alive. It's also a very sad time to be alive, seeing what the world is going through and people that are going through war. I, my heart really goes out to them, my prayers and so forth. But but very soon, people are going to wake up to the fact of Space Force. They're going to wake up to the fact of precious metal backing these digital assets. People are going to wake up to the fact that the whole monetary system and a lot of these government agencies have been fully corrupt, that they have been against the will of the people. And let's go ahead and hear some words, some words. Now, this is QFS Team 1. This is uh, Mel. He is down in Costa Rica. He has a great channel. And as I stated, I'm not in competition with any other YouTuber out there. I think that us coming together as a whole is pretty awesome. Because if we all have a little bit of that piece of the puzzle, and we all come together and we can put our piece in, we can all get a picture of the big puzzle. Hello, folks. Mel down here in Costa Rica. And we have Tim. Uh, first off, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, TWC and Razor Man out there, thank you for introducing us to Tim. Uh, there's been an anticipation that's been built up because Tim came onto the scene, folks. And for, for those of you who don't know, uh, about a week ago or so, we had a podcast with him and a few other people. And he said a couple of things that were literally extracted from a video and went on to Twitter and all over the Internet and Facebook and God knows what else. And it literally blew up. I mean, hyper viral. Um, so with that, you know, we had to figure out how to get Tim on a one on one podcast and he is joining us today for the first time. But before we do that, make sure you join our Telegram group. Also, I'm going to leave a couple of links for uh, TWC and Razor's Telegram groups down below. And don't forget, we give you the Quantum Financial Systems Manual completely free of charge. So um, go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. And I hope you guys enjoy this interview as much as I did. Got him. Tim, welcome, brother. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How about you? Good, good. Tim, um, you're, I, I think I don't need to tell you, but the little clip that they took out of our video that we did uh, about a week or so ago went hyper viral. Uh, you had 26,000 hits in like four hours. Wow. And everybody wants to know everything about Tim. They want to know your last name. Who are you? Where you come from? What you do for a living? And so yesterday, you and I had a little conversation and you told me you were a world-renowned photographer. Now, I don't particularly 
follow photographers as a sport of sort, you know, but um, when you told me that, you blew me away because you said something that really stuck with me. You said your family was the first family to ever invent the camera. How many generations back is that? That's seven, seven generations, yeah, along with many other awards. So um, I was a chief consultant for the Smithsonian for print technologies. I'm an inventor. So uh, I get into the sort of the nitty gritty of trying to figure out all the, the exact um, particulars in, in, in shooting everything perfectly and then uh, designing my own tripod heads, um, designing um, new ways of making prints with new papers, new coatings. Um, we're gonna have fun with it. It's gonna be a brand new world and people need to start thinking about how they wanna participate in this new world. 100%, I couldn't agree with you more. I'll tell you, you know, one of the classes I did take that I actually did enjoy, uh, I, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm right up there with you in age. I don't know how old you are, but I'm, I'm headed for 59, September 9th. I don't make that, you know, I don't hide that fact. Uh, I, I do say I look pretty good because when I look in the camera, I like what I see, you know? <laughs> and, and the reality is, um, you know, I took photography and I remember those, uh, all those chemicals that we used to use and put the pictures in different, uh, you know, pot, little square things, plastic, whatever, and you just yeah, put them in there for a minute or so. Yeah. yeah. And, and I had fun. I had fun with that class. Uh, Woodshop was another class that I had fun with, you know. But anyway, I understand you are an XRP, you know, aficionado. You are an, a lobster uh, aficionado. Uh, I talked to Emily back and forth, and she said, hey, make sure you tell Tim not to call lobster the next um stock market i'm yelling at whiplash for it uh because we have to come up with another name for it uh the stock market is not going to be the right name for it but for entertainment purposes uh emily i'm going to apologize to you publicly in advance we're going to talk about lobster becoming the new stock market and then when the new name becomes available <laughs> we're going to use it i promise so i apologize yeah, I in advance uh, and uh, th this obviously it goes for all you guys. Um, explain to me what you know about lobster and until the new terminology becomes available to all of us where we could say, aha, that's it, that's the name. Uh, explain to me how it sort of mimics or takes over the stock market in your own words, Tim. Um, well, lo lobster, as I mentioned uh, before, was basically, the old stock market was basically set up by the cabal um, so they can control uh, peaks and valleys they can flood the market they can do price manipulation and the little guy always got it right in the keister um, lobster is set up so really anyone can enter the field and the beautiful thing of that is, is it doesn't it doesn't matter uh, I've said this before, it doesn't matter their monetary sis, sis, situation. Even if they had $20, they can invest in their future. Um, we know of kids right now that have started their own wallets in Lobster, and they're now investing in their own future. They're actually out doing garage sales of their old toys that they don't even use anymore. And the nice thing about that is, is that $20, $30, that they're seeing what they can, they can get. I, I mean, I mean, literally for two, well, XLM right now, which is um, how you get into lobsters, you, you open, you know, you can get an app and then you buy Stellar Lumens, which is XLM. Um, they're going to be the big, one of the very, very big uh, 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 silver backed um, uh, assets. So you buy that and you swap it or trade it for these new digital assets that are becoming available. I'm trying not to say stocks. <laughs> so now you got me going into this. But uh, for 23 cents right now, I mean, you can hop on to um, the Japanese Indus.exchange for the seized assets. And I'm sure that right now you can get four or 500 million of their seized assets for 23 cents. 
and the there's not many there's 0.00001% of the population that has really caught on to this and, and virtually any company you can or, and or country right now you can log on to lobster and you can start accessing those seized properties under Trump's executive order 13818 it, it's um it's just miraculous what you can do and lobster is a really really simple system to use now protocol 19 has not hit yet so there's a lot of fake tokens um usually when we were doing classes i say we're in past tense because i'm now just referring everybody over to csi because that's really what their rv project is about emily is phenomenal at what she does um i'd like to know what she's drinking though because she does have some excitement doesn't she um uh but uh the nice thing about that is is that they're really set up and they, they that when they rv they're probably going to be much 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 larger larger um they're getting massive amounts of people um the amount of contacts that i'm getting uh coming towards me and i just refer them back over there because i, I don't have the ability to to really sort of help everyone i'm you know i i i know all four parts of the rv and lobster is one of them the digital assets that are being seized but um uh you can go in there and get ibm you can get tesla you can go get toyota honda ford i mean there's really almost a com company you can't name right now and it's really quite fascinating because i'm trying not to say the word stock market but whatever they want to call that word <laughs> <laughs> investment house I, I i don't know what they want to call it let's call um, it an investment house there you go i like that okay let's, let's so, use that for lack of a better term so these so these assets that you are allowed to acquire right now under the executive order um they are going to be needed for the new company so we know there's certain companies that aren't going to exist um in the future or, you know we're hearing uh, walmart probably won't exist in the future from what they did Mm -hmm. um mcdonald's certainly um uh and there's several other companies maybe home depot and and uh but there uh we don't know what's happening with disney yet um but um there were some pretty darn evil things mm -hmm. being done and they, they were orchestrating a big chunk of this so how they how they exist in our future we don't know but those assets um you can acquire and you will most likely take those and uh, once once protocol 19 hits which we're hoping is really really quick and it looks like it's going to be really quick um they will then suddenly become valued and by me by that i mean you won't be able to get 300 400 million tokens of that asset um uh or for 23 cents, you're just not going to be able to do it. Um, so that's why we're we're trying to get the word out, trying to get everybody. Look, if you if you want to you want to make a difference in your life and potentially generational wealth, um, you 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 need to wake up. You, you need to get into the ball game. Um, particularly, you patriots. Uh, the the unique thing is there is that the door is wide open, and you're awake. But if you're not seeing all four parts or any parts of the four RVs running simultaneously, if you're not paying attention to Putin announcing the gold standard, and he even announced Nasara Jasara in Russia, that's coming. It's coming quick. I mean, they already washed everyone's debts. So in their in their country. So they're going to gold backed rubles. China's going to gold backed yuan everyone is going to gold back that's part of the new rules so um that's what lobster is really about it's about um allowing everyone into this new investment house um but uh you, you do need to jump in um again i don't make a thing on it i'm just trying to wake people up i'm trying to help everyone um i've been 
now lecturing for on different sites for I don't know over a year now. Um, Mel's pretty much taken me to excuse the Osprey flying over. That's the military. Um, and uh, so the unique thing is, is that you have an opportunity. You just need to decide. Do you want to go a little bit out of your comfort zone? You know, I mean, literally 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks can make a big difference. It's really sort of like buying a little bit of XRP, which, by the way, you can you can now buy XRP on Lobster. Um, so but there are a lot of fake ones, I understand. Is that correct? Yes, there's a lot of fake ones, but the ffchain.io is the real one. And um, so it's sort of a, just a storing house. You're not really, they're just allowing you to store it there and then you'll take it off site later on. And um, yeah. so, but you're also seeing, you're also going to see all kinds of other things, which Emily mentioned. And you guys should watch those videos too, because they, they are enlightening. Um, yeah, this is a rapidly, rapidly changing, all positive, no negative. Um, and, uh, you know, we post, I'm not a part of the QSI team, but I, I do talk in there, not talk live anyway, but, but I do post stuff in there. I do answer some questions here and there, but primarily I'm just, um, I'm just running around to different uh, talk shows and, and uh, trying to wake everyone up because there's a lot of patriots. And I think that's why we're being let in the door because they could have kept this all secret and then announced it all, but they didn't just like XRP. And when we had Navy SEALs, we had Trump's team on Telegram talking about well, where should I buy XRP? How should I buy XLM? But they're really at, they're really giving you the answer in the question. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they say things like, oh, should I go, should I go on to uphold and buy XRP there? I mean, instead of saying, well, where can I buy uphold? They're actually giving you the answer in the question. And I found that really quite hysterical that yeah. This is how they're waking people up. Yeah. Well, you know, my, my thing is, um, Tim, you know, right now, uphold seems to be the sure bet because if I sense. Well, basically, they had to come up with a, um, a forensic accounting of the entire company, all of its assets. Mm -hmm. So normally in, normally in a stock, they're, they're, they're coming up basically based the values coming up based upon the profits. And but now because there was some, let's just say some bad things done, which you, everyone will find out in the 10 days of martial law coming. Um, what that day is, we don't know, but it will be soon. Certainly looks like it. And, uh, but those companies got caught. In, in, and so what they did is they did an accounting of all of their account, uh, all of their assets. Um, they had to put a value to them. So they re released so many tokens based upon that value. And they're now, so they're tokenizing those assets for us to go in and acquire. Um, and um, of course, Lobster is a wallet, so you can hold them there. It's, it is being run by Space Force. And um, uh, so you don't venture, you won't gain. Um, but the nice thing is, is that um, we do provide lists out there um, that anyone really with any modest, I mean, once you get past getting the XLM or the Stellar Lumens onto Lobster, that's probably the hardest part. I mean, because when, when you're provided a, an address and you just go to add assets and you type in jp.indus.exchange, you can see all the Japanese assets in one list. You know, and you see SoftBank, Sony, uh, Toyota, Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, so forth and so on. Um, and you can just go and decide well, how many XLM do I want? And it'll tell you how many tokens you get for each one of those. All right. Very exciting video that is put the link to that down below. But they talk about all kinds of things, things that I'm starting to also going to come out on this channel and speak about, too, about the quantum technology. I've spoken about the IBM System Q. 
Um, I've also talked about Elon Musk with uh, Quantum AI and how all everything going on behind the scenes with Space Force, SpaceX, it's all linked and connected together. So this is a very crazy yet exciting time that we're living in right now. And it's all coming true. Now, not to say that, oh, I'm right. I was right. It's not about that. It's about helping my fellow citizens and helping people out there to become aware and awake of what's going on. They have to be awake. If you're not, you're going to get left behind. But rather people who are listening to have some of these valuable assets and know that they're going to be okay after everything after the great uh, event. And this is what I've been saying about the great event. It's coming. You know, if people want to say, oh, that's crazy. Well, you know what? I'll admit it. I'm a rich, crazy person. I'll take it. Go ahead and call me crazy. I'm a rich, crazy person. That's all I have for the video. Go ahead and put your comments, thoughts down below. This is pretty wild, isn't it? What are your thoughts on the new Q systems, the new quantum systems? pretty wild people are in for a huge awakening and all i ask is that you stay safe and that you have the i always love reading them and i want to say thank you everyone for watching another edition of token topics y'all take care out there